Oh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with another Balloons video. And first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today's video, we're going to continue along with our Balloon Star Defense 6 walkthrough slash playthrough slash guide, whatever you guys want to call it. And for today's map, I have chosen Park Path because we're going to be continuing along. And of course, we are going to have our monkey knowledge turned off. That way, no matter what monkey knowledge you guys have unlocked, you're going to be able to use this strategy. And for this strategy today, I have chosen to use Oban. So if you guys want to follow along, I'm pretty sure most, most of you guys should have Oban unlocked. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. So, the first thing that we're going to be starting off with is, as soon as we load in here, alright, the first thing that we're going to be starting off here is we have $650 to start, which is quite a bit of money to work with. So, we're going to place our first ninja monkey right here. And this placement, as soon as we upgrade him to Ninja Discipline and stuff like that, we're going to actually go into have his radius be increased. And then we upgrade to Seeking Shurikens as, as well. It's going to work out extremely good for us. So let's go ahead and speed things along here. We shouldn't struggle with any of these first rounds. I mean, it is alternate balloon rounds, so you never truly know. But at the same time, we shouldn't have any issues with these first few rounds. All right, so we're going to be going for Ninja Discipline as soon as we can get it. Odds are we are going to lose a couple of lives just because we don't have a lot of popping power. And we want to save up to get this in Ninja Discipline as soon as possible. All right, so there we have our ninja discipline. We're not, we should, we shouldn't now. We really sh shouldn't worry about any other balloons slipping through. Now we do have some re regrow balloons coming through here. Not a big deal, NBD. So now, as soon as we can afford to buy seeking shurikens, we're gonna go ahead and buy that. That way we can increase the accuracy of our ninja monkey dramatically. All right, perfect. Now we just have to f finish off these couple of rounds. We're gonna upgrade to sharp shurikens as soon as we possibly can. And then following that, we're going to start saving up for our Oban. Because, of course, Oban is a great hero to use, especially since he buffs magic towers, which is precisely why I've, I've chosen him for this challenge. Now, I have done previous walkthroughs and guides where I don't use a hero at all, but I've realized that a lot of you guys already have, like, Oban un unlocked, so it's really not that hard to un unlock him in the first place. So I might as well use him in some of these future like walk like walkthrough guides all right perfect so like i was saying we shouldn't struggle one bit with any of these rounds now we do have a camo balloon that we're gonna have to worry about we're probably gonna eat a couple of lives here but because we don't have any way of popping the camo balloon just yet and we do want to make sure that we save up for uh some of our towers like oban and then we also need to buy the alchemist as well so we're going to go ahead and let these two lead balloons slip through. Now we are going to eat, again, we're going to eat a few lives. So no big surprise there. Now are there ways that we could have prevented that? Most certainly, but it's going to be a little bit easier in the long run. Alright, so now we have the ability to buy our Oban. So let's go ahead and grab our Oban here and place him down right here. There we go. Perfect. Next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be saving up to buy our Alchemist because we want to get our Alchemist with the Acidic Mixture Dip. That way our Ninja and can pop the Camo Lead Balloons that should be coming here in just a couple of rounds. All right, there's our larger potions. And then again, as soon as we get the Acidic mi Mixture Dip, we're not really going to have to worry too much about the Camo Leads. And again, we did eat quite a few lives here, but... Again, since we're not using Mutt Monkey Knowledge or stuff like that, we really don't have too much extra starting cash to work with. So, it's not that big a deal. Alright, perfect. Now that we have the Acidic Mixture Dip, we're setting extremely good. Because now our Ninja can pop Camo Leads and he can also pop Leads as well. And Oban also has the passive ability to pop Leads on top of that. Alright, so now that we have this, we're going to save up to buy ourselves Acid Pool and Faster Throwing. That way we can keep our Ninja buff pretty much the entire time. Alright, and we should be able to afford Faster Throwing here in just one second. And there's our Faster Throwing. So now we can guarantee that our Ninja and our Oban are being buffed from our Alchemist. Now we still need to get a little bit more pop popping power going here, which is precisely what we're going to work on next. We're going to go ahead and buy our double shot next, and our double shot should carry us for quite a few rounds. And then 
following our double shot we're gonna save up to buy ourselves i think we may go with either the monkey sub or the monkey ace one of those t towers that do quite a bit of damage to like the moab class balloons all right so like i was saying we have the double shot now let's go ahead and upgrade to berserker brew next just to give our oban and our nin our, nin our ninja a little bit of an extra popping power bonus all right we should be able to afford that here in just one second all right perfect there is our berserker brew now that we have the berserker brew we are setting in an extremely good spot because of course the ninja upgraded to the double shot with the alchemist with stronger stimulant is an extremely good combo to have all right so when we're going to be choosing our monkey sub, we kind of want to leave a little bit of space in the center to place down a monkey buccaneer. Because when we're using the monkey sub and stuff like that, the monkey sub uh, paired with the monkey buccaneer is an extremely good combo to use. Because of course the monkey, the monkey buccaneer has a massive range and the monkey sub with the advanced intel works or pairs extremely well with it. Plus, our monkey subs are already going to be able to hit a majority of the balloons, at least that are within the radius of our ninja. All right, and perfect. We're actually going to go ahead and we're going to sacrifice a little bit of money here. And that's just because we want to go ahead and grab ourselves this monkey buccaneer as soon as possible because it's going to increase the amount of time that our monkey sub is going to be able to hit the Moab balloon. And then our ninja monkey should be able to finish off the Moab balloon before it slips on by. All right, now we're gonna we're not gonna upgrade to longer range or anything like that just yet because we want to get up to armor piercing darts. Now we may not be able to get up to armor piercing darts by round forty, but it's not that big a deal either way because we still do have the double shot ninja paired with the stronger stimulant or not stronger stimulant but berserker brew. And on top of that, we have the monkey sub. All right, so we were able to afford the armor piercing darts. Now that we have the armor piercing darts, we'll go ahead and upgrade to long range and crow's nest. Now our monkey sub is going to be able to put in a lot of work against that Moab balloon. And then the next thing that we're going to be saving up for, we might as well buy ourselves the cow traps just to just because it's going to be one of the last things that we're going to be able to afford before round forty actually comes because. Even though it, it would be ideal to get Balloon Jitsu, we just wouldn't be able to afford it. Alright, and perfect. We uh, bre we breeze through round 40 with no issues whatsoever. Now we can go ahead and afford it, the Balloon Jitsu. And then follow following the Balloon Jitsu, we're going to go ahead and go for a Stronger Stimulant. And I'm going to be mixing things up just a little bit for this alternate balloon drown. So we're going to try and go for a top tier monkey buccaneer just to add a little bit of uh, a little bit different strategy to uh, the uh, constant strategies that I'm coming out with. All right. So let's go ahead and upgrade the fashion sh shooting. We'll go ahead and go for the destroyer next. We should be able to afford the destroyer relatively soon or afford the destroyer re relatively soon. And in the meantime, while we're saving up the money for all of these different towers and stuff, we won't have to worry about any of the balloons slipping through because of course we do have the balloon jitsu and tier four alchemist combo. And then we have the monkey sub to back it up. And then any balloons that do slip through, uh, the monkey buccaneer and the monkey sub should be able to deal with them. So we do need to save up a whopping $8,100 for the aircraft carrier here. And that shouldn't take us too long to actually do that. And then following the aircraft carrier and stuff like that, we're going to probably go with a monkey ace as well. Again, I just want to try or use a new strategy here because it's something that I haven't done for a alternate balloon drowns just yet, especially the with the aircraft carrier paired with the monkey ace. And then of course you have the balloon jitsu combo as well. And the reason why I chose to go with the aircraft here is it's I feel like it's a tower that really doesn't get used too much because it's a little bit more on the expensive side for a tier four, but it is an extremely good tower to use because it can deal with the ceramic balloons. Unfortunately, it can't pop leads, but if we were able to get up the $27,000 for the carrier flagship, we would not struggle one bit 
throughout this entire alternate balloon rounds. But like I was saying, I think we're going to go with the monkey ace. Yeah, we're going to go with the monkey ace just to help us along with those reinforced moabs. So with the monkey ace, we're going to go with the operation dart storm and spy plane just because with the spy plane, we're going to be able to hit all of the camo balloons. And then the top tier operation dart storm is going to do a lot of damage towards the moab balloons. And then let me see what else do we want to go with here. We do want to go ahead and go with a mortar monkey. This is kind of a necessity whenever whenever you're playing like alternate balloon drowns. Because the mortar monkey upgraded to the shattering shells removes all of the reinforcement from the moab balloons, which is going to make them easier for your to tower combos to deal with. And even though it is eleven thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars it is definitely worth the investment to go ahead and go with it i i'm pretty sure i've used the mortar monkey in in the past and it's just because it's a really good tower to use on the alternate balloon rounds and it's really not that expensive for how good it is it basically cuts the moab and the balloons health in half all right and should be able to afford it relatively soon but while we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and wait. Yeah. Uh, while we're waiting on that, I just want to take this time to say thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel so far. We are sitting at 900 subscribers. We are sitting one or 100 subscribers away from 1,000. And as some, of, as some of you guys may know, as soon as we hit that 1,000 subscribers marks, I will be doing a 24-hour live stream playing Blues Tower Defense 6 and playing other Tower Defense 6 or Tower Defense games. Now we'll basically make it up as we go, but it's kind of like a thank you for all of the support. And then, of course, uh, something that I feel like would be a good way to show that I'm really appreciative of all of the support on the channel so far. Now, one thing I must say is that when I do actually do the live stream and stuff like that, I will be doing it on my Twitch channel. And if you guys are, are haven't subscribed to my Twitch channel just yet, uh, I'll leave a, a link in the description below. So if you want to go ahead and go follow that, uh, that's where I'm going to be doing all of my live streams and stuff like that because I've noticed that it's a little bit better quality and it's more interactive than YouTube is. So just a little bit of a shout out there for the Twitch stream. And then of course, when we hit 1000 subscribers, if you want to join in on the 24 hour live stream, anyone is welcome to participate. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back into the game here. So we are sitting with $7,500 here. We're ripping through all of these rounds with no issues whatsoever. So the next thing that we're going to be going for uh, round 66, we have a 14 rounds until 80. I almost couldn't math there, but I ended up pulling it out at the end. All right, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a wizard because we are using Oban and Oban, of course, buffs magic monkeys. It would it would be kind of a mistake not to use our wizard. And of course, we're almost at the Arc Arcane Spike, which is what makes the wizard monkey so OP because the Arc Arcane Spike does increase damage to Moab balloons which is precisely why he, it's a great upgrade to get and we should be able to afford that I'm guessing probably at the at 70 or the end of this round we should be able to afford uh, our arcane spike looking like it's gonna be towards the end of round 69 that we're gonna be able to afford our arcane spike yep and here's our arcane spike perfectly right at the beginning of round 70 and now we're basically going to breeze all the way through until round 80. All right, perfect. So the next thing that we're going to be going for, the Sky Shredder is definitely not obtainable. I don't think we'll be able to save up to $27,000 needed for the carrier flagship. But uh, if we do end up saving up enough money, we'll go ahead and purchase that. Uh, we really shouldn't need to worry about any balloons slipping through simply because these three military towers paired together work extremely well together because the aircraft carrier takes care of the solo balloons along with the monkey sub and then the monkey ace does a massive damage to the moab class class balloons paired with the monkey sub as well 
So each has their benefits, and when, when you pair all of them together, it's a great combination. Alright, so we only have five rounds left to go. It's looking like we're not going to be able to afford the carrier flagship, but it's not that big a deal. Alright, perfect. Now we're just going to finish off these last few Moabs here. Uh, four rounds to go. We're sitting at $11,000. Yeah, unfortunate, but we just didn't have enough money in the end. I mean, we could sell our wizard and then go for the carrier flagship, which I think is what I'm actually going to do because we... Sh Let me see. We have... It's uh, 27 for the carrier flagship. Um, let's get up to 18,000. Then we'll go ahead and sell our wizard mon monkey and buy the tier 5 carrier flagship just to finish it off. And because it's it's a tower that I, I personally really do not use a lot of. Alright, so we're almost at 18,000. I'll just go ahead and finish off this round right here. And then we will go ahead and sell our arcane spike wizard and now we have the carrier flagship so of course the bonus with the carrier flagship is you can place two towers on top of them if we want wanted to say we want to place down a couple of snipers you can just place down a couple of towers on top here and it adds a little bit of room to or add, adds a little bit of room to your map so it's a great solution if you're playing on a map that doesn't really have a lot of space to use plus the aircraft or the carrier flagship can passively pop lead balloons. So that's why he's another really good tower to get, especially late game. All right, and then we just have, we just have to finish up round 79. And then once we finish off the, oh my God, then we will be good to go. And this, and this challenge will be GG. And this is how you make easy work of the alternate balloons rounds on Park Pass. All right, perfect. Yep, just got to finish off these last few balloons. And then it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't add a couple of wall of fires here just because the center tier whip wizard is my favorite tower to use. And of course, the center tier wizards are optional. There's no reason to get them. All right, guys, and that's officially it. Alright guys, and this is how you beat Park Path on alternate balloon rounds with no monkey knowledge. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload it daily. And then also feel free to check out my Twitch channel because I do stream right now. The streaming schedule is 12 o'clock Eastern Time, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, if the Twitch keeps going pretty good, I may add a day to it, but right now the only two days I have scheduled for streaming are Saturday and Sunday. But anyways, guys, as always, I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives, and I will see you guys in the next one.